basically private military firms are business providers of professional services that are linked to warfare. The Army used to take care of everything. There used to be a self-contained operation. You know, when they went to war, they had all the skills, all the personnel, all the materials. When they began downsizing the military, they simply outsourced things they needed, whether it was technology or security. It's basically the way we look at the role of the public versus the private, and that's changed over time. People looked at areas of government and said, the market should be doing that. And that was things like education, private prisons, garbage collection, private security. And the final frontier of that was the military. It was the monopoly of the military over the realm of force, and that monopoly has been broken with the private military industry. The private military industry is far bigger than most people realize. It operates in more than 50 different countries. To look at it in monetary terms, firms within this industry pull in about $100 billion a year in annual revenue. In modern day Iraq, the US Army finds itself overtasked and they have to resort to a wide variety of outside suppliers for everything from trucking to food to security. Essentially, you have sort of three major categories of, of companies. You have your non-lethal service companies, and they support military operations, peacekeeping operations, logistically. And then you have two other categories. Military consultant firms. If you were a U.S. Army soldier going into Iraq right now, your final training program in Kuwait wouldn't be given to you by U.S. Army folks. It'd be given to you by military consultants. They won't do the fighting for you, but they'll come in and train and advise you how to do the job better. And you have your private military companies. The private military companies generally work for governments, and they are brought in to change the strategic situation. The very first one of these, the most notable one, was executive outcomes. Now many of the companies on the ground in Iraq that are providing these tactical roles fall within that domain. Basically any company that has guns for hire. Sometimes these companies call themselves private security companies, but we're really not talking about security guards at the local mall. We're talking about companies that are hired to provide tactical military capability in the middle of a combat zone. Think about it. Blackwater doesn't fight wars, but they make damn sure you don't mess with what kind of business America's putting in place there. And that's sort of almost like a passive aggressiveness, you know, where it's like a, a steel barrier around foreign policy. 